This is another evening of Star Spangled Entertainment and Taylor in this mood. And Derek blink, and Derek look away, Derek miss a moment. It's one of those nights again. Yes, he's hit a few one eight, a uh, few nine darters in the UK Open at Bolton, uh, and of course we saw Barney do one at Bournemouth. 80. It's something about a town beginning with B that uh, brings them out. But uh, must mention Bob Anderson's attempt at a one eighty, which came to mind during the break. Yep. Uh, I think that was about 90. It might have been the same year as Larry, Larry Butler back in 94, but it was certainly in the early days. This Bob an absent friend and uh, looking at present friends and uh, temporary enemies this evening, Wayne Model and James Wade. That's, you could say, a clash packed with potential. 60. Yes, I think so, Dave. There's more than potential here on this stage, isn't there? In the shape of two of the greatest men that ever took darts out of a sachet. What are we going and the, there you are. That's uh, number seven for Phil Taylor. We're in the 11th leg. And uh, we've had hardly noticed, but his average has crept up over 110 now. Uh, so that unobtrusively 84. he's getting up into the stratosphere again with his three dot average John yeah Taylor's uh, match average is a good seven or eight points above his uh, tournament average whereas Priestley's is, is about par Priestley's well, playing the sort of standard that he's played through the tournament Taylor slightly above or more than just slightly above he's on another 10 darter here again yeah. did one of the ninth near a nine and it's interesting to, to to think how many players have done two ten dark finishes in a match certainly within well, three legs of each other anyway he's got to hit this double eight to achieve that but you just feel there's an inevitability about it <laughs> two ten darters from phil taylor almost a nine darter one of them and uh, imperious form wonderful to behold i keep saying it i know but well you run out of adjectival phrases for this yes, club. If you're out but having a barbecue or mowing the lawn at home, go tell your neighbours, get inside. In darting terms, the king is in his castle. Yeah, you're dead right. Fantastically fabulous. Perfectly precise. Priestley's not bad either. Priestley's not bad either. That is Priestley. Hits his first 180 of the match. And, well, he deserves it, doesn't he? He might get a 180 as well. He's got a chance here. Remember, he had second darts. 84. Wouldn't it be a piece of magical poetry if Dennis Priestley could hit a nine darter wouldn't blackpool rock to the foundation oh. hopeful thinking but he's standing with a good shout in this leg 59 only 59 though let's tailor back it that was a real chance the priestly family seeing kelly there in the middle yes those familiar dennis the menace shirts and you could say there's more black and red about John than on a roulette wheel. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, Got to watch for a ton here, Priestley, to leave a bogey. Ooh. Did rather well on the roulette wheel last night, Dave, at the casino here in Blackpool. Rather better than when I was in Las Vegas a few weeks ago. <laughs> What a cavalier gambler you are, John. <laughs> to leave 36. Well, like shelling peas, I once used the phrase here in this very commentary box here at Blackpool, like picking damsons off a tree in September. It is so, so easy for Taylor when he is in this kind of form. 
So here we go with Phil Taylor checking out 53 success rate, double 18. He's hit this one before. And a double nine, a rare miss from the Maestro. <laughs> Soon retrieved that little dilemma. And look at this one again. You can see just lob the dart over its uh, companion. Hundred and ten now. And yeah. wasn't it identical to an earlier shot that he played at double twelve? Remember the first dart covered the foot, the bottom One half of the target, it. as that one did the lowest part of the target, and still found it exactly the right weight exactly the right pitch in order to put it in just just above the dart that was already there that at the moment is exactly how taylor can be so so utterly precise so accurate and you have to admire priestley he's been the wrong end of an onslaught, but he hasn't buckled for one megasecond. Not for one nanosecond has Priestley shown any signs of pressure pummeling as dished out by Philip Taylor. Well, Priestley averaging 94.4. If Taylor were averaging round about the 98 to 100 mark, Obviously, this should be a closer contest, and uh, let's say it's at, uh, we've played 12 legs at 7-5. Uh, this we would still be thinking of, of a possibility of Priestley getting back into the match. But when Priestley's averaging 94 and Taylor 60. is at, on 110, 16 points clear, and with a 50% checkout rate, then obviously you're going to have this kind of margin. It's the sort of margin we've got. Priestley's only had four darts at a double in the match, and that's not because he hasn't played well. It's simply because this fella, Taylor, has been so, so quite magnificent. Well, that was a careless throw, unusually from Taylor, but 161 for Dennis Priestley to retrieve a leg. Possibilities done, 155. Can he do 161, Treble? 17, got to go back up for... That's it, leaving 24. They're super dark, you know, Priestley's showing great, great class and character. Yes, the score of 10-2. Bearing in mind, of course, that uh, last night, Taylor had a comfortable ride, certainly in the early part of the game, against uh, Kevin McDyne. He led him 11-1. But they're two entirely different games. This is an entirely different match to that, notwithstanding the similarity in the scores. This is a man, Dennis Priestley, been there, done it, 